watch me get that. Stripes like Adidas in my city. I ain't rich yet. Jump man fan, keep the vans for the kickbacks. They don't understand I'm the man where I live at. All for the dream, trying to keep my name. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And today's episode, uh, a lot of people have been really asking me why I stopped talking about sneakers on my on my YouTube channel. Um, so this episode, I'm gonna tell y'all why, bro. Here's why. Um, I feel like God don't want me to like God really showing me my path. Uh, sneakers is like sneakers will always be my first love. Always be a key part to my life, a key part uh, of of Jalen Ray Poulard. You know, sneakers, I was just a kid, bro, who grew up into a man who who still loves sneakers. Sneakers kept me away from a lot of a lot of bad things. Um sneakers always will will, will always bring me uh I'ma say Happiness, peaceful. Um, so I feel like it's time to like not like not close that chapter, but focus on what's what's really important and really, you know, uh, and really share to y'all and really uh, inspire y'all a new way. So. This is my new way to uh, inspire you guys, cause I feel like that's my purpose. Guard, guard. I feel like God really, you know, put me on this earth to inspire the whole world my way. Meaning my way, meaning like sneakers, sports. You know, talking the truth. To you know, if we're talking about my life, talking about this and that. I feel like man, Wallet Dreams. I made Wallet Dreams uh, up in high school. And I really thought, you know, from all the dreams was like just sneakers. And when I got older and older and older, I feel like, man, all the dreams is more. It's just more to all the, you know, it's just more to, you know, all the dreams. It just, you know, just sneakers. It's like it's it's way more than you know just sneakers. So I feel like this is my way. I really wanna. Ball, you know, ball a lot in my way, and look like it's my way to, it's my way of ball or not. And plus, man, when you meditate, you start like looking at things different, meaning like looking at certain like sneaker YouTubers. Like I really, really, you know, started doing YouTube because of a uh, of like certain YouTubers. And like you watch when you watch your in like when when you watch their channel, and I, cause I meditate every day now. Like well, not every day, but but like every. When I meditate, it bring me certain, like a certain energy. And like, I can't sit down. Like now I really can't sit down and watch YouTubers. It's, I just feel like everything is fake. Like they fake, like they faking it, bro. I just can't, just can't, I just can't. It just don't sit right with me anymore, bro. And sneakers and the sneaker culture is like dying. Sneaker culture been dying out to me. That's why I really... That's how I really. That's why I really stopped doing it because people don't do it for the love no more. They're really doing it for the attention, the views, the money, and this and that. Oh, I got this sneaker first, you know, boom, boom, boom. It's all about now. I feel like it's all about like competition. Like I never do. I would never. I would never like my collection. I would never compare my collection to anybody. I was never like that, bro, and I never will. And I feel like everybody, everybody, you know, collection. It's like hype, full of Jordan ones, full of hype sneakers, full of dunks, full of like, not the like not the love, bro. Every every pair, I was telling one of my homegirls the other day, every every sneaker that I have in my collection, I know every story about it, where I was, what I was doing, cause I loved it. I don't buy sneakers because he got it, she got it, he got it. No, I buy it because I really loved it. Like every sneaker that I got. I probably had it on my wall when I was a kid, or I probably seen it somewhere. Be like, man, I want that sneaker. Like when I get my money, I'm getting that sneaker. Now I feel like people doing it because, oh, I, I get the sneaker first. Who, who? It's all about who can get it first, and you know, and put it on YouTube. Sneaker coach died, bro. It's dead. 
all the OG, you know, sneaker YouTubers know. Like, and they talking about it all. I'm quitting YouTube. Man, like, bro. It's, everything is fake, my nigga. Like, everything is fake, bro. So, uh, I feel like I don't have the, have the strength to talk about sneakers anymore, bro. Uh, I, I would always buy, I would always, I would always, you know, still buy them. But, like, right now, and maybe, like, one day, God going you know, push me towards, you know, sneakers again, you know, to talk about them. But right now, bro, it's just like, it's just dead, man. It's dry dot. It's, it's so dry dot, bro. But uh, I will always love them, bro. We can still talk about sneakers, you know, if you see me somewhere. I live in Dallas, so if you see me in Dallas, I still go to, like, you know, I still go to the shows, uh, sneaker cons, and um, what's the other what's the other show called? Uh, all the sneaker shows, I you know, I'm still going to go. You know, show my face, attend them, you know, cop something from the homies. But uh, it's like the Ventures game. Like, I like I like Ventures tees. Like, you know, uh, and like, that's dying out, bro. Because, like, everybody want to do it now, bro. It's not people doing it for the likes and not, and not for the love no more. So, it's just dead to me right now, bro. But, like I said, we can still talk about it, man. Y'all can still, you know, talk about it in the comments. Cause I would always love sneakers. Sneakers is like everything to me, and like always will be everything, bro. But right now, I'm, I, I I just want to talk about life. How y'all been? What's new? You know things like that, bro. So um, that's why I really start talking about sneakers on YouTube. Um, thank y'all for watching, bro. Hit that subscribe button and join the Wall of Dreams TV family, and. See y'all next time, man. I'm gone.